So the DC motors have their output shaft, right? That turns. And that output shaft, I'm concerned, since it's going to be winding up string that it's pulling, I'm concerned that, well, I can show you what I'm talking about, actually. Okay, so this is going to be spooling up thread, right? It's going to be, this, this part will be spinning around and around, reeling up thread, and that's going to simulate the contraction of muscles. Now, my concern is that right here, if I'm pulling, it's going to bend this output shaft. It's going to bend it. Because it's pulling the string this way, it's going to bend it this way. So I need to counter that. So something needs to be holding it this way, pulling that way, so that it doesn't bend it in half. So it needs something here in order to counteract that force and protect this from bending. And so I was thinking, like, do I need to create a ball bearing? Do I need to create a U-shaped shaft? Well, I came up with a very easy solution, which is to basically wrap it in string or wrap it in uh, something like this, actually. String could go through this little wire sheathing like this. That's all I need. So check it out guys. Boom. So the, the string's going to be coming out that way, trying to bend it that way. And to counteract that, we got it tied down this way so that it can't go. It's not going to budge. Now, string's going to be going through this hollow blue tubing and then coming out the two ends and we sew that into the bone we sew the ends of the string into the bone right here so that it's, it's not going to budge boom so we, we got it supported get it? that's our support the only concern I have is that all this rubbing right here will eventually wear through this so I'm probably going to coat this in epoxy and I may need to occasionally replace it but um, I really don't know. The only other way to get rid of that friction would be to create a miniature ball bearing. But that's very sophisticated, very tiny and intricate work. And a ball bearing is <clears throat> expensive and hard to make, I would imagine. I mean, I could... <clears throat> I could... Okay, so I could do, you got your motor, you got your output shaft, right? I could create I could create a box, right? Drill a hole through it. Right? And put little balls inside it. And these these little BBs will make contact with the output shaft. And so as the, beep, the BBs rotate, they um, reduce the amount of surface material touching the output shaft, and they just roll along it. But even ball bearings wear out over time. Um, so here's a close-up of what I'm, what I'm talking about. Um, this is the output shaft zoomed in. Okay. And we'd have... little BBs um, contained uh, 
like that. And they'd be inside, you know, the, the enclosure. something like this and so you can see that these little BBs like literally BBs from a BB gun could be nested in pockets like they're in pockets you can see that pocket right there if the camera will focus there we go and so they're rotating around and around and they won't really dig into the output shaft because you know they're they're a ball bearing. Anyways, you can look up ball bearings, but so I could create a simple ball bearing out of a a cube of plastic or epoxy, and then you know drill out little little cups and insert the BBs, and then slide the shaft in, but. It would just be very difficult to make that. It's it's going to be so tiny. So that's why I'm going to go with the simpler approach for now that I came up with, which is just to wrap string around it. String reinforced by epoxy. So that'll be really quick.